So today we're preparing a wedding laser show. What you can see here, we're at beautiful Lake Constance and the weddings happening here in this restaurant. So people have the view from here and we've got the FOH point here in the corner and running the cable just across here. We've got some really strong fog machine placed here. We've got another one over there and the lasers and LED are placed over there. You can see them. We've got three Femto RGB6 in place and several LEDs just to beef up the show later on. Just getting here. The whole setup is run with a network cable, so we've got a LAN setup with Laserworld Show Editor Show Control. So all the cables are not in place yet. So it still needs some cable police, but we got everything set up already hardware wise. So we're now walking up here for the first laser. So you can see it's the Femto RGB6. We just placed it upside down. So it's an easy way for mounting the lasers. You can see the super clamps with the TV pins on. It's just mounted upside down, so pretty easy setup. Don't forget the safety rope, as we're just above the water. Can you see the beautiful boats over there? Great weather today. Got some LED powers, some LED powers, more fog. This time, this is a haze machine, unique hazer, more LED. The second Femto RGB can see it points directly towards the cafe, the restaurant over there. Another haze machine. And the third Femto RGB6. And over there we placed another fog machine, a strong fog machine in case the wind turns. So we've got fog from all sides depending on the wind direction. This is very important because for outdoor shows you definitely need fog or haze if the beams should be properly visible. The fog and haze distribution is essential for an outdoor laser show. So actually we try to put a lot of haze and fog machines of different size at different positions here uh, to be able to cover the whole space with fog even if we happen to have uh, some yeah not that strong wind if it's strong wind you can do what you want and there's no way to get it going but if we only have a uh, slow wind and if, if you just have a look at the leaves at the moment we're lucky there is nearly no wind at all uh, we should be able to cover pretty much the whole space we put one strong fork machine just behind that boat there is um, a haze machine over there, a haze machine over there, and we've got a haze machine here. In addition to that, we have more fog machines. One is positioned here and one is over there, all in combination with uh, strong fans. If we happen to have a uh, wind from that direction, which is unlikely because the wind um, is said to come from the opposite side, but if this happens we would put another strong fog machine here. As we don't have any boat, uh, if we would have a boat we just put the boat here, outside here, uh, with a strong fog machine and then it would be possible to cover the whole space, but unfortunately we don't have any boat here.